Hey guys, Gore here. Today, we're taking a look at the Beta 21.1 update to Squad. In this update, we are seeing the addition of Rally Points becoming an inventory item and the FOB leadout system. If you enjoy the video, drop it a like and subscribe for more future Squad content. Now, let's jump on into this update. First up, we have the Rally Point becoming an inventory item. Like they had mentioned previously, the new Rally Point will function similarly to the Rifleman's Ammo Bag. Now, instead of waiting the 120 second cooldown timer to place a new rally, squad leaders will have to either pick up their old rally and still wait the 120 seconds before they can redeploy, or for 50 ammo, they can resupply their rally. This new system is coming into the game to try to combat the effectiveness of rushing the objectives while only using a rally point. Hopefully with this change, we'll see a greater focus set on logistical runs and fob building. What do you guys think of the resupply cost of a rally? Should it also require some build supply so rallies can't be constantly replenished off vehicles like an MRAP or a scout car? I'm curious to see if further changes are made to this system in the future. The other main addition to Beta 21.1 is the FOB bleedout system. This system will introduce a short recovery window of 60 seconds after a FOB radio has taken critical damage where the friendly team can recover the radio and prevent it from being wiped off the map. Friendlies must use shovels to repair the radio back to a minimal threshold to stop the bleedout timer. Conversely, friendlies can use their shovels to dismantle the FOB radio during the bleedout state. Before this update, you could dig down your own radio and your team would not lose the 10 tickets it was worth. It is not stated that if the enemy team damages your radio and it enters the bleedout stage, that if your team digs it down from there, you will not lose any tickets. I'm under the presumption that only if friendlies cannot recover the radio, you will lose the tickets and any radios dismantled by friendlies will not incur a ticket loss. I'm excited to see this feature in game as I and probably most of you were getting pretty tired of losing fobs because no one was sat watching the radio. Thwarting attacks and wiping the defense are going to be much more of a challenge now as even if someone is able to slip through the line and reach the radio, the other team will most likely recover. Attacks on fobs by a lone infiltrator will have to be followed up by a larger attack or else the fob will most likely be recovered. As a whole, I think these two changes are not only great for the game, but I also think they demonstrate that the development team is willing and able to make the meta-shifting gameplay changes that Squad needs. Anyways, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this quick video covering the newest update to Squad. Let me know in the comments down below if you think these changes will shift the meta away from attacking off rallies and the lone wolf combat engineer meta. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>